If horror films had their way, we'd never do anything. And to prove this, I'm going to show you a load of old horror films on VHS which all have Don't in the title. Happily, none of them are called Don't Get On The Train. Or are they? Let's take a look. Hello you elegant swan, I'm Jason Arnop, the author of The Last Days of Jack Sparks, Ghoster and Beast in the Basement. If you're new here you might want to hit the subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen so you don't miss any future videos. Do we or don't we look at these films on VHS with don't in the title? I say we do. Now one standard thing that we've learned from horror movies is that you must never look in the basement. Don't look in the basement under any circumstances, especially if the lights in the house are blown and you need to go down and check the fuse box. Because trust me, no good will come of that. There'll be a man in the mask down there and he'll make it so that you never do anything ever again. <laughs> a feeling of unease crept over her. Yes, a feeling of unease crept over her because she'd just been stabbed through her glasses and into her eye socket. That would, that would make a person feel uneasy, wouldn't it? Let's see if there's anything to amuse us in the blurb here. As often is the way, the highlight is the end uh, sentence. All is not as it should be, and a series of frightening outbursts from the patients and horrifying attacks herald the terrible conclusion. I've never actually watched this film, and so I can't tell you whether the conclusion is terrible in a horrific or in a uh, qualitative sense. But it could be both, obviously. If you like bright tape labels, then this is the tape for you, let me tell you. This film actually found itself on the Video Nasties list in the early 80s. If you're not familiar with the Video Nasties list, then don't worry, I'm definitely going to do a whole video about that, because it was a ridiculous time in which horror titles were pulled from the shelves and literally banned from stores absolutely preposterous and this was one of those films. Funnily enough a few of the films I'm going to show you in this video were video nasty so I think maybe the powers that be at the time had a, a real bee in their bonnet about films trying to tell the viewer what to do. That's ironic. So to sum up, basement out of bounds. The next thing you mustn't do is answer the phone. If that phone starts ringing and you're in a horror movie then for God's sake, just, just let it ring out. Don't even acknowledge the fact that the phone's ringing because no good can come of this, as you can see in this picture here. I mean, run if you must, hide if you can, you can scream, but just don't answer the phone. I think that's sound advice. It's got a lovely spine in this film, but I can't show you the back because it would contravene YouTube's policies. Right, we're not answering the phone but we're not going to spend too much longer on this either. If you happen to find yourself inside a house in a horror movie and you're not looking in the basement and you've managed to resist answering the phone, then what you mustn't do is open the door. Any door. Leave all doors be. Hilariously, this 1974 film has an alternative title which also has Don't in the title. It was also known as Don't Hang Up. So, don't answer the phone, and once you've answered it, definitely don't hang up. Huh, this betrays the, uh, the alternative title, because a series of disturbing phone calls plagues Amanda on her return to her dying grandmother's house in Allerton. Too much detail there. Another horrifying murder follows. Voodoo and effigies. <laughs> so whoever wrote this blurb couldn't really string a sentence together, could they? Because this literally says, Another horrifying murder follows dot 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 voodoo and effigies dot 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 in capital letters not for the squeamish three exclamation marks it's just liquid gold isn't it liquid gold prose let's have a look at the tape of this what a delight in case you're wondering what these are and you're thinking maybe they're small sachets of cocaine uh, these are actually sachets of silica gel, which help reduce the possibility that white mould might start to form on these video reels, which is every collector's nightmare. So let's hope that never happens. Hmm? Don't open the door, just keep it shut. That's the way. Well done. Not only must the door remain shut at all times though, the same very much goes for the window. See? Especially if you've been tampering with nature. 
If you've tampered with nature, then for God's sake, keep that window shut because all kinds of, I don't know, possessed hornets, moths, Satan's moths may come and get you. Whatever's out there will wait. That's quite a good tagline. I quite like that. Apart from whatever being two words, I don't like that so much. Now, this film actually has a much better known title, particularly in the UK. Do you know what it is? Do you? Let's see. No, there's no clue here. This film is actually The Living Dead at the Manchester Morgue, which was a film shot in this uh, country. It's also known as Let Sleeping Corpses Lie, <laughs> which is quite the title, isn't it? But the, the main point that obviously we're going to take away from this is that windows should remain locked, ideally barred, and also they should be nailed into the window frame, otherwise you will pay the price. So we're accumulating quite a list of things that should not be done in horror movies, aren't we? But it'll keep us safe, that's, that's the main thing. The problem is, of course, the list of things not to do just never ends in horror films. So you're in a house in a horror movie, you think you're doing everything great, you're not answering the phone, you're not looking in the basement, you're not opening any doors or windows, but in this film's opinion, you mustn't go in the house at all. So that's really thrown all the, all the previous rules up into the air. That's thrown the, the spanner among the pigeons, hasn't it? Oh, this film, and particularly this release of the film, is just uh, absolutely iconic to me. It probably won't surprise you, judging by the grimness of this cover, that this is um, another Video Nasty. And it's probably one that, well, none of the Video Nasties deserved to become Video Nasties, but at least it's really grim. And so you can understand why, at the time, a bunch of busybodies got really upset about the idea of people being able to watch this film. I remember seeing this cover in Lowestoft Library when I was a kid and thinking, oh my God, that's just horrible. I will never be allowed to watch this. So we turn this over and we're confronted by a lovely picture of a woman with her head on fire. You really do have to watch those straighteners. You really have to unplug them, you know. Actually, that would be another film title, wouldn't it? Don't leave your straighteners plugged in. Yeah, that would go nicely on this list. It's a reasonably well-made film. It's kind of a riff on Psycho. It's like a nastier Psycho, a much nastier Psycho. Uh, yeah, about this guy, Donnie, who likes setting people on fire. And his mother's involved, I think. I think, he's still, I think he thinks his mother is still alive. Yeah, he's, he keeps their horribly charred corpses in the house with him, dressed in mother's finest gowns. Yeah, so in this case, definitely best not to go in the house. Definitely don't go in Donnie's house. That would be really unwise. Don't say uh, I didn't warn you. All right. So you've decided to not go in the house. You've banished yourself from the house so you don't have to worry about basements and doors and windows and being burnt to death by Donnie. So where on earth are you going to go next? Well, <laughs> I'll tell you a place you definitely mustn't go and that's the park. Don't go near the park. This is another video nasty. I love this cover. There's something quite disturbing about this cover, and I'm not sure what it is. I think it's because the quality of the picture sort of makes it look like we're looking at a TV screen with this guy on it. Yes, this film got banned, so police literally would go into video shops and remove this from the shelves and take it away and um, probably take it home and, and watch it and have a lovely time. It wasn't the police's fault, of course, though. It was the uh, director of public prosecutions. But that's for another, another video. <laughs> Oh, this is great. 12,000 years ago, a brother and sister are condemned to perpetual dying but never death by their evil mother, Petronella. Perpetual dying. That's like a, an old riddle, isn't it? My first is in dying, but my second is in not dying or something like that. Ah, yes. Rejuvenating the bodies. Rejuvenate, spelt wrongly there. Quite a common feature of uh, video blurbs back in the day. Their only salvation is to wait until the planets have completed a revolution of the Zodiac. Yeah, it's always best to wait until that's happened. And especially, I always think, when the, the moon has been flanked by the twin stars of the wolf as well. There's no point doing anything until those two things have happened. Yeah. Right, so the park is a no-no. If you were even just thinking about going to the park, then you can forget it. All right? We have three movies to go. Three. So you're not going in the house. You're not even going anywhere near the park. So you might think that the woods are going to be fine. Think again. Although in fairness, this does specify that you mustn't go in the woods alone. 
So in theory, if you were to go into the woods in a group, you might be all right. Although if I remember rightly, the people in this movie do actually go into the woods in a group and uh, it doesn't go very well for them at all. Ah yes, in fact, there's four young campers, so they don't go into the woods alone. So, so why do bad things happen to them? That's what I'd like to know. <laughs> You've got to love these spoilers in these, uh, in these old blurbs. So the four campers enter the woods. Suddenly a large form rushes forwards. Craig, actor's name, slips dead to the ground. Okay, so there's only four of them to die, so why not tell us one of them, eh? Yeah. Beautiful stuff. That's a lovely cover, isn't it? That's just classic slasher delights. Right down to the, the reflection of the slasher maniac in this lady's glasses. That's a particularly shiny... Oh, it's so shiny, you can see my face in it. So, no house, no park, no woods, whether you're alone or not. That's all there is to it. We're going to take a slightly different tax now. And of course, you'll want to see this one, because this is Don't Open Till Christmas. It's quite odd, isn't it? Why would you make that a title of a horror movie? Don't Open Till Christmas. I mean, it's a obviously it's a saying, but it doesn't really... That doesn't evoke anything particularly sinister does it you know just don't open stuff till christmas it's rubbish uh, as you might notice this is a dutch tape don't open till christmas whoa that's put the fear of god in me hmm. it's time for the final tape with its weirdly reassuring title don't panic hmm that is quite odd isn't it I don't know why you'd call a horror film Don't Panic. I mean, Panic's great, Panic's fine, but Don't Panic? Not a very good title. Forget Freddy and Jason, Virgil's the newest nightmare in town. <laughs> I somehow think that Virgil failed to outdo Freddy and Jason in any single way. I know what you're thinking, where's this particular horror classic? Well, I don't own it, and it's overly familiar, so that's that. So then, to sum up the rules that horror films present to us, don't look in the basement, don't answer the phone, don't open the door, don't open the window, don't go in the house at all, don't go near the park, whatever you do, don't go in the woods, especially not alone, don't open until Christmas, but despite all of those warnings, don't panic. Honestly, anyone would think that the makers of all these films didn't get together to jointly discuss the message that they were putting across to viewers. It really beggars belief. Don't be at all ashamed if you've enjoyed this video from start to finish. And of course, if you did, then also don't forget to hit subscribe down there in that bottom right hand corner and perhaps give me a thumbs up. I would love to see you down there in comments telling me which of the films in this video you found the most entertaining and which you'd most like to see and maybe you have seen them so tell me your experiences there. I'd also like to hear about any horror films that start with the word don't that you may have stumbled upon and I may have missed. So let's get chatting. Thank you so much for watching all the way through till the end. I'll see you next Sunday and until then embrace your obsessions. <laughs>